many of us have done things we are ashamed of in our past that we've never asked forgiveness for nor repented of? How many of us are doing things even today that we know we shouldn't because they are wrong? Whether it be physical intimacy out of wedlock, a slave to substance abuse, using foul language, stealing, committing adultery, or any other sin against God or humanity. We are all guilty at one time and at some degree or another. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. If you are or have ever been guilty of any type of sin or wrongdoing, let me assure you, your life is not over. God has a purpose for you. You may not feel worthy, but please join me now as I offer up this special prayer to our Heavenly Father for His mercy and forgiveness. After all, Matthew chapter 9 verse 13 tells us, But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners. To repentance. You can repeat after me if it will help you gain peace. And if while pouring out your heart in prayer you shed some tears, it's okay. God understands those tears. Let us pray. Most gracious and loving Father in heaven, I come before your throne of mercy knowing I have sinned and fallen short of your glory. I have been brought low in the sight of all divine beings and unfallen worlds. I come not because I am worthy, but because there is one who is worthy, one who suffered much pain and died on the cross so that I can one day become part of his heavenly kingdom. That one I know to be not only my Redeemer, but my one and only true friend, Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, you know all the darkness of my life. While bowed in prayer and with a sincere heart, O oh God, I ask your mercy and forgiveness. I claim your promise in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Lord, I ask that you send your heavenly angels to do battle with the dark forces that surround or even control me. Cleanse me from within and without. Please grant me power from on high to gain the victory over self and any cultivated or inherited tendencies to evil. Father, I pray the words of King David from Psalm 51, verses 10 through 12, which are the desire of my heart now. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Help me, Lord, to live my life going forward to honor and glorify you in word, thought, and deed. For yours is the kingdom and the glory forever. Amen.